What's going on everyone? It's me, ya boy, Alex the Rambler, and today we're playing Ostalagi, the Berlin Wall. I've probably mispronounced that, and I apologise about that, but we all know that I'm not exactly famed for pronunciations. Uh, now I saw this one while just browsing the Steam store, and I saw a map, and I thought to myself, I like maps, I'm going to buy this game. <laughs> so I did! So that's why we're going to play through it today. It's set during towards the end of the Cold War. It's just by a indie developer. So if we click on the new game, you can see the map too. Uh, so you can play as any of these nations. However, for Hungary, Czechoslovakia and Albania, you need the DLC. And then for the DPRK, Cuba and Afghanistan, you need a different downloadable content pack. It appears... They're going the paradox route. I admire your business sense. <laughs> but if you'd like to see more random games like this where we're going to control a nation, it's almost like Hoi, sort of. Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. It's very much appreciated and helps out the channel. Uh, I'm going to play as Romania today. And we start in 1989. Uh, we have... I'm blocking it. So we have the, I, I presume we are in the Warsaw Pact, the CMEA, and we are conservative. And we're just going to head on in and and start. Oh, oh, look at this map. This is even better. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I can't move the map, however. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. There's more text than in Hearts of Iron. What the? There's not even a tutorial. I, I'm just going to play and, 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 just, and just sit. Oh, we have two agents. Of which we can probably not do much. Oh, things are going off. Liber liberalization of the film industry. Huh? In the Soviet Union, the film Intergirl was released. This event would have gone unnoticed if not provocative plot of the film. Allow more publicity. We'll release Intergirl for hire, but we'll leave state supervision. I think some of the translation is a little off because I think the primary language in this might be Russian. Uh, but yes, we will allow the pu more publicity. And it looks like France is doing stuff. Fight against... Hmm, a conference on those things began in Paris. Representatives of 149 countries are ready to sign a declaration banning the use of gases and chemicals. Oh, I will sign. I won't secretly fail to comply with the conditions. This is it. This is, this is how we get to win the Cold War as Romania. We're going to come out of it looking very good. Very good indeed. Ah, mass introduction of video surveillance. I like that. Let's let us begin the research on that. Oh, very good. Yes, very good indeed. I'm going to set up an army base just to just to keep people under control because my my approval from the oh my support from the people is very high. My approval from the USSR is is not so high. Hmm. Our standard of living is is only thirty nine. Uh, do I want to worry about the southern economy? No, we've got a TV center. People will be happy with that. So I, I think the main uh, the main part of the game really is just it's just making sure your nation survives the end of the Cold War. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play along and see how we do with the events, etc. I I haven't figured out how to move the map though. I don't want to. Sure, no. What can we do with Iran? Invite to the Economic Union. I can't actually do any of these because it, everything has to be green. Oh, support conservatives in the USSR. Yes, we'll do that. Yet yeah, my, my approval is still going down. I have great support from the people, though. The letter of six. People don't appear to be... Well, a few people don't appear to be... Ah! Ah! Shoot the enemies of the people. Let's just put him under house arrest for now. We don't want to get too... carried away. God, how do I get the USSR to like me? This is going really badly. Um, hey, guys. You wanna just, you wanna, you wanna, please, please like me. This is, uh, at least until you collapse, that is, then I don't care. Oh, no, no, no. What's going on here? The disease of the Vietnamese reformer. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Uh, let's wish him a speedy recovery. Yep. And then we've got another problem in Romania. Austerity. As you know, for the prompt payment of external debts, a special austerity mode has been introduced in our country. <laughs> oh dear. 
Cancel austerity mode. Let's get spending. Woohoo! The population was very enthusiastic about the news of the debt repayment and the cancellation of the special regime of economic policy. And so they should be. Well, this is go. I don't see how this could go badly for me, quite frankly. I would like to get an alcohol factory, but... Oh, it doesn't actually cost me anything. Oh, no, it does. Minus five from the budget. And in my budget, I've only got plus point two. Oh, if you're wondering what the uh, soundtrack sounds like, this is what it is. Uh, oh, God. And that's it. That's that. I can't actually have the soundtrack, really. I, I imagine I'd get copyright striked if I did. Who knows that? Did Turkey just join NATO? Uh oh. Oh wow, the standard of living is going up, almost. Oh, what's going on in Japan? Red rising sun. I have to leave the venture because I don't have any money. Oh dear. Oh no, what does, this, what does the Soviet Union want? Hmm. So far there isn't really too much to do. I don't know if any of you would have played this at home, uh, but it's, it's quite a fun little game. The, the amount of events that you that you get is is quite... Oh! <gasps> ah! Soon our country will celebrate the 45th anniversary of liberation from fascism and our president, of course, must make a speech. Oh. Speak about national cohesion. I think we'll just do that. Yes. Yes. People liked that, didn't they? Nope. The USSR really is not happy with me. Alright, Poland! Oh. Crisis! of the government of the Polish People's Republic. Oh dear. I can't do anything, I just have to say do not intervene in Polish affairs. See you later, fella. And what's going on in Iran? It's time for reforms. I'm gonna go for a little trip. Yep. As in any other country, there are people dissatisfied with the current state of affairs at the top of our state. Some declare that it's law openly. They will not dare to overthrow me. Your political steps have made more and more <laughs> angry the party apparatus. Your political steps have make more and more angry the party apparatus and their patience has come to an end. Some high-ranking personalities of the PCR colluded in which was involved... Oh my god, this is really hard to follow. The next day after the conspiracy was organised, a group of conspirators made harsh accusations. Uh, essentially, I've been overthrown. Well... That was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? <laughs> Shall we try East Germany? Let's try East Germany. Let's go. I will repress combat groups. Yes, we don't want the working class rising up. Uh, sign and fail to comply with the conditions. Good. Liberalisation of the film industry. Allow more publicity. Yes. I wonder how it's going to go. Already they hate me. The USR already hates me. Support from the people is going down. My standard of living's going down, my diplomatic relations are meh, and my money's also going down. So, it's really um, quite easy to play this, it seems. Ha! Ha ha ha! I just read an election and got away with it. Oh good. Good 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 good. Unity of the party is fine. I just can't get the USSR to like me. Which I guess is kind of, kind of, make, kind of makes sense. Oh gosh, so many events. Today, our head, Honka, should make a speech on the occasion of the first working sample of the 32-bit processor. Oh my gosh. It is time to announce a course on automation. Let us go. Let us go along with computers. I love computers. Operation Valkyrie? You what? Ah, uh, it was 45 years ago that, that it was almost, almost a success, but... Uh, continue the old line. I, I appear to be lasting longer than my neighbour in Romania. Oh dear. Get around the wall. Uh oh. The government of the Hungarian People's Republic opened a checkpoint on the borders of Austria and continues to open others. <sighs> Let them freely leave. Open them up. Open up the borders. This is going to go very well. To the surprise of the population, we allowed free migration. Tens of thousands of citizens. Oh. They've gone. That's a lot. All right. Um, what about Poland? Crisis of the government. Support the Polish communists diplomatically and financially. Oh my God! There's so many. There's so many more events than there were in, was in Romania. Poland declared that 
opens its borders, including for the reception of refugees from the GDR and their transit to the West. <sighs> Recognize an affront and tell everyone about the situation. Allow only paid departure. Yes, let's make some money out of this. <laughs> oh! The end of the Hungarian People's Republic. Do not intervene. But, uh, approval from the USSR, we're still it's up to back up to 100, so we've done something right over the past few months. Oh, it's me again. Parade for the 40th anniversary. Alright. We will invite Gorbachev. Oh, me again. Right. Monday demonstrations. Send the army of water cannons. Yep. No demonstrating against me. I will be your leader. Another event. Oh my gosh. Release the hounds. What is happening to me? Should we unseat Honka? Will the country lead Comrade Krenz? Oh my goodly go. Comrade Eric Mickle will seize power and settle the situation. Delight. Don't know how that's going to go. Um, and oh no, my approval is actually going down. So this may not have been the right choice. Oh, my unity of the party is is quite low. I'm sure that's fine. Right, let's just continue on. Like nothing is wrong. Oh, Gorbachev's call. Uh-oh. Oh, they want us to hold elections. We are forced to listen to the advice of Big Brother and hold fair elections. Well, it was the turn of a nationwide elections in our country. Mm. I'm going to wait for the results. I'm not going to falsify it this time. We're just going to... Mm. As a result, we will have to put up with the influence of other parties in Parliament. Uh-oh. Well... Oh, oh, yeah, the party hates me now. The people are dissatisfied with the current state of affairs. Ah, they will not dare overthrow me. However, I think I've been overthrown. Right, well, it appears this game is actually trickier than, than I thought it would be. It's good fun, though, to try and influence your actions and see if you can steer yourself clear of communism or embrace it fully. So I think this cost me about £4, and I, and I think for that price I'd, I'd recommend it, because there are lots of different events, and it's it's just a nice way to spend, you know, half an hour to an hour just, just reading the different events and learning a bit more about the time and, and trying to change the course of history, a bit of an alternate future, some may say. But I hope you enjoyed this brief look at Ostalgi, the Berlin Wall. Uh, if you want me to try and cover more indie strategy games, do let me know, but I'll be back with more content very soon. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Robert Kinge, Daft Falcon, Ryan Koch, Cody Freeze, Name Name 1231, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!